Good evening and welcome to this second tech webinar on the Alumni YouTube channel. Today, we are delighted to welcome Benaoma Sinusi, who is currently a full-time associate professor at EC Paris. Dr. Sinusi received his PhD degree in computer science engineering at the National uh, Polytechnic Institute of Grenoble. Currently, he's working as a full-time associate professor at EC Paris, graduate engineering school, member of the NCQ Research Center. Before he was working as a research fellow in the University of Twente in the, in the Netherlands, he worked also in a research fellow as a research fellow in several French research laboratories and institutes such as CEA, LE2I, and the University of Burgundy. Benoma was also an invited professor within the Kyungpuk National University in South Korea. His main research topics are artificial intelligence, cyber physical systems, smart embedded system design, embedded hardware software architectures, multi-CPU FPGA platform-based code design, smart and autonomous vehicles applications, as well as computer vision. Today, as I mentioned it before, we are delighted to have him on this live, and he will give a talk entitled Cyber Physical Systems, Embedded AI for Autonomous Vehicles. Uh, good evening, Ben. Good, good evening, uh, Maxim. Thank you very much for this invitation, and uh, I'm glad and happy at the same time to be with you and share this evening or this scientist evening with you and with the, uh, the followers of uh, Alumni EC. I just uh, forgot to mention that I uh, will be the, the timekeeper. Then we have about an hour to present his research and then we have some time in the end to discuss. Uh, of course, those who are watching us on the YouTube live can ask questions directly in the chat. So, okay, Ben, what are the current topics in the embedded AI for autonomous vehicles? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Maxim, for the second time. Thank you for uh, the EC alumni. I'm uh, happy to share this time with you guys. So as uh, I just close this window, as Maxim said, so, uh, uh, and introduce me. So my name is uh, Bino Mercenusi and I am full-time associate professor in EC. And uh, what I can say today, I will talk uh, a bit about the uh, cyber physical system and the embedded AI. I will speak all, uh, also about autonomous and, and smart vehicles. Uh, just something about what, uh, what I did. I um, graduated from uh, uh, Grenoble EMP or Polytechnic de Grenoble. So in, in, I had uh, or I prepared my PhD and master's there in, 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 in computer engineering and computer science. Uh, so, as, I, as, as Maxim said, so, so since several, several years, I'm working as a full-time associate professor within the EC, and I'm taking care of uh, mainly the international uh, sections in, uh, in, uh, in uh, embedded systems, in uh, energy, sometimes in, in, in health and technology. Uh, and uh, today, we will speak about uh, technology, we will speak about science. And this is the title of my, my presentation today. So um, I call it uh, Cyber Physical Systems, Embedded AI for Autonomous Vehicles. So you can see in here, so there is uh, three main topics or three main keywords. We speak about CPS, what we call it, Cyber Physical Systems. We will speak about Embedded AI. And uh, then we take application or an example of application like um, uh, autonomous and, and smart, uh, 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 smart vehicles. So the talk is uh, uh, divided, we will be divided in several points. Uh, after a general introduction, I will speak about the embedded AI frameworks and then architecture, we speak about the software framework, we speak about the hardware, for, uh, hardware infrastructure, and then applications. As I said, I will come back on the autonomous and smart vehicles, and then we will finish. As Maxim said, about uh, can we have we will have some time in order to take some Q and A, some questions, and try to uh, to to answer uh, answer them. Okay. In order to start, I want then uh, uh, to share with you this um, uh, study 
from the inter reports that speak about the top 10 investment in in uh, in, in technology so this is a date from uh, 2019 or 2020 and uh, we speak about the uh, top 10 investment for over 400 technology companies and you can see uh, here in the in this in this slide uh, about the three main topics that uh, that big companies is is interested in so mainly uh, the first one about artificial intelligence this is everybody knows uh, we speak about 50 50 uh, 51 percent of uh, of more than 50 percent of of the 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 the, the companies are, are are interested in in artificial intelligence so what 45 44 percent they are interested in predictive and uh, big data and big data analytics and we are always here in 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 our in artificial intelligence if you if you want and we have 35 percent to speak about um, smart machinery and equipment and also the the idea of the the the, the keywords on artificial intelligence is coming back also in here you can see that's a lot a lot of people a lot a lot of big companies they are very interested in order to know more and they are invest uh, uh, a lot of time and a lot of money in order to ma to, to to master this uh, technology and of course uh, became uh, the, the 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 leaders uh, of uh, technology or this technology which is artificial intelligence so uh, uh, here uh, when we speak about 35 percent we speak about smart machinery and equipment uh, this is an example of what we call it cps what we call it cyber physical systems or we call it machine intelligence how we define this CPS system, we define as computation elements collaborate in order to control and manage a physical entity. So we have a computation element, okay, that can uh, control a physical entity. When we speak about physical entity, this, the example that we can, I can share with you, it's robotics, for example. So how to use computation, uh, computation elements and how to use this data coming from the physical world in order to uh, 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 control and manage a physical entity. Here, I want to speak about physical entity, we can speak about machinery, we can speak about smart vehicles, we can speak a lot of, I will, I will give you some, some examples of, of this. So this CPS can integrate or can, can, can be seen as integration of computation or integrate computation, integrate networking and physical process. Okay, and can enable, of course, a machine to interact with the environment in an intelligent way. So we get some information from environment and try to, of course, interact with the environment in a in smart uh, way. We can find several applications. They are used, the CPS, in, in transportation, medical health monitoring, robotics, and, 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 and so on. So an example that I want to share with you as a CPS system, it's uh, this robot uh, from uh, Boston Dynamics that's in in, uh, in 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 Singapore. That's sorry, I need to come back in here. This uh, uh, robot and the idea behind this uh, robot is to work and walk in. Uh, uh, in, in the space, green space, and try to check the distance between people. So here we are speaking about coronavirus. We are speaking about this, what's happened uh, after, after a year of, of uh, uh, confinement. So here, this robot try to check the distance or la, uh, la distance social, if, if you want, uh, uh, between all the people they are running or they are walking in this, uh, uh, I mean, in the streets, if, if for example, and try to, get this information from this uh, uh, this uh, 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 the, the environment if you want and check if the distance like if one meter or two meters or, or more and then give uh, um, uh, outputs in order to make people respect this social distancing okay and th this is one of real example of uh, CPS or cyber physical system so this system can get you can see information from the environment, okay, all surround or all around the, uh, around it, and try uh, to give as an output. This output uh, consists in uh, make sure that people respect the distance between between them, 
Okay, this is one of the example that you, I can share with you uh, about a real example in new uh, in this new uh, era of of coronavirus. So this 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 example or this AI uh, based systems are growing and the market growing very very high and there is a lot of money behind. So in 2013 we were speaking about had 10 billion AI units. So this market is growing very very uh, fast and now in in 2021 we are speaking about more than 30 billion AI devices. Okay that that means 30 billion uh, uh, um, uh, smart systems or smart uh, 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 smart CPS that we can find them on on the marketplace, and of course when we speak more we speak about several or billions of AI AI devices we will speak about a lot of money behind, and now is the market is speaking about seven point one trillion of of dollars in 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 this year in 2020, uh, 2021. So this is the application that we can find CPS or what we call it AI based CPS. So we can speak about robotics. So the main example is Boston Dynamics. And uh, as, I, as, as you know, I, I think that you get the information that Boston D Dynamics is uh, um, uh, bought it by, by uh, uh, sold by, by, uh, by Hyundai, uh, like two months or three months ago uh, for one, $1.1 billion. And the idea of Hyundai that in order to yeah, take all this technology behind this robotics, this Boston Dynamics robotics and, and the technology in order to uh, integrate it in uh, smart cars and, and autonomous cars. Okay. Uh, the, 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 second present, uh, the second example is, uh, speak about smart vehicles. Of course, this vehicles that can drive alone and take decision alone from, of course, as I said, get information we get data from around the, the, the cars from the, the, the physical data of course from from the environment and try to take uh, uh, take a decision to stop or to do something uh, something else. We speak about health. The smartwatch is one of the examples that uh, a lot a lot of people I think uh, that uh, that uh, know. So of course a lot of sensors the sensors uh, uh, sense a lot of data and try to uh, using this data we will try to make uh, something smart. Okay, and the, the 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 last example that I want to share with you is about the industry 4.0. So it's a lot of people speak about it. Um, I think that you have already uh, hear about it. And uh, here the idea that we want to integrate and 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 put more and more smart smartness in our factories. Okay, so we were in the, the first industry or the industry 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, which was where we, we used a lot of computers, a lot of automate, uh, automations. And now we are speaking about cyber physical systems in uh, the, 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 the industry 4.0. And the idea what, what means uh, using uh, CPS systems in, in the um, industry or in factory, that's we want that the, the machines that we used inside our factories will be uh, uh, working alone in a smart way. Okay, so this is what uh, 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 what we want to do. I can uh, give you an example of this. If if you come back or or the, the main example that's a lot of people um, uh, cite it every time. It's about uh, Tesla, Tesla, Tesla company. So inside the factory or Tesla factory. We will we can find robots that can fix other robots. That means robots that try they are working and there is some bug inside this robot. We can find that another robot come and check this robot if it's it's what what's yeah what's wrong with the with the problem. What is the problem? What is wrong with this uh, uh, first robot and try to fix it uh, alone. That means there is no um, uh, human intervention. In 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 the, in uh, in uh, in uh, industry 4.0. This is what we want to do. And Tesla, so it, it exists. So inside Tesla factory, so there is smart robot that can fix other robots inside the factory. So this is uh, what we call it, uh, industry 4.0. Uh, uh, so now we, we want to know from where it's coming all this thing. So the people they are looking or they are following, as I think there's a lot of people 
coming from uh, uh, alumni coming from SE, uh, uh, Système Embarqué, and uh, the, the, even for, for SE or even others, uh, 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 other students can understand uh, the thing. And mainly this evolution of CPS or if of uh, embedded AI, if you want, is coming from the evolution of technology. What means evolution of technology? Uh, evolution of semiconductor technology. That means how many how many uh, transistor we can integrate in the same chip. Okay, this is what we call it semiconductor technology. And here you can see that we want just to to share with you and and, and show you how 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 the evolution has made from uh, the fifty or sixty to 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 now, to to twenty twenty or to twenty twenty one. So we start in the beginning from. Yeah, designing very small circuit with transistor. Okay, it's uh, yeah, hundreds or yeah, uh, uh, hundreds or thousands of transistors on the same chip. Then we uh, go and we put more transistor. That means we have the, uh, the possibility in order to make a processor inside. If we have a processor on the chip, that means we can make software on it or we can execute software on it. That means here you can see that we have software uh, tasks. When we speak about software tasks, or your uh, C or C plus plus task that we, you you developed, okay. For example, and this C or C plus plus can be executed on a processor, and this capacity of integration is going more and more interesting. Uh, and now we can make a very complex system. A lot of people hear about. SOC systems on chip, and this is how we how we can design the system on chip. We can find processors, we can find specialized IPs, we can spy, find communication networks, DSPs, uh, uh, specialized processors like DSPs or ASICs. Okay, and of course we have embedded uh, OS, mainly uh, uh, embedded Linux, for example. And on the top of your embedded Linux, a lot of people, they are developing now uh, 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 AI uh, algorithms. So based on Python mainly. So in C, C++ or Python. That a lot of examples is based on, uh, uh, on Python. So on the top of all this operating system only in Linux, so we can find this uh, layer or AI layer that makes our chip, of course, um, uh, smart, and when we speak about smart chip, of course, we can, uh, behind these smart chips, we have these smart systems, or we have these uh, cyber physical systems, okay? And in the same line of integrations, we integrate a lot of things, as, as you can see on this slide, and this chip can communicate also. That means we integrate also an uh, uh, analog or an antenna. That means your chip is not just smart but also can connect or can communicate or can 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 use the network why and and when you speak about the network here more it's oriented for iot okay so internet of things that means this your system is not just smart but also can communicate that means can receive data and send data okay and this is what we uh, uh, of course via sensors and these sensors can, we will come back uh, to, to, to this. And this capacity of integration, when we have these smart chips, uh, chips so behind the smart chips, we can do uh, 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 smart robotics, we can do smart industry, we can do smart health application, we can do smart cities, we can do, of course, smart uh, uh, transportations. Okay, so this is, I want just to uh, uh, come back from uh, how, how the evolution of this embedded AI or this, uh, this uh, 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 CPS systems coming uh, coming from. So this is how I want to share with you the the the, the global view of CPS, cyber physical systems. So uh, what means this? Uh, uh, this is how it looks like. You can see that the cyber physical systems. It's a big view, okay. And then we have uh, the, the the parts of the communication or the, the network, what we call it IoT, using sensors, okay? When we have sensors, we will sense data. This data, we will compute them. So inside our processors, inside our uh, chips, okay? Using, of course, AI. Here, we are more oriented via uh, through uh, deep learning or machine learning, 
Okay, so this is how it looks like. So we have the cyber physical systems, we have the IoT sensors, we compute a sensor on chip, uh, this data on chip, and of course using a deep learning algorithm. And all for this global view, we'll find um, we will need communication, which is network, we need control, mainly it's operating system, and based, of course, in big data. Okay, and this big data is coming from sensors and the sensors here we speak about heterogeneous sensors and the data is heterogeneous that means we will need uh, algorithm in order to make the fusion to make uh, the, the 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 fusion of this data in order to have a very uh, um, uh, 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 um, very, very uh, accurate decision making Okay, because all once we have several data, heterogeneous data, so the decision uh, can be more and more uh, interested. So now we speak about a bit about the AI and the software and a framework that 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 we have. When I speak about framework, I, I try to go uh, fast on this uh, slide because a lot of people knows about uh, the machine learning basics. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's 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 this is mainly what we use in order to make our system smart. Uh, it's a sub, of course, the machine learning is sub subfield of artificial intelligence and uh, manually uh, designed rules and automatically learn the models. So we, we make learn or can model, we, we design a model in order to, uh, to learn uh, from, uh, uh, from uh, big data uh, analytics or from data that we, we, we collect. Okay, we can make difference between what is yeah, what is apple what is orange and and, and a lot of a uh, lot of uh, things during the learning uh, process uh, in machine learning we have uh, as you know we have two two types we have the supervised and unsupervised machine learning uh, uh, the, the 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 supervised so the target value are known and the, the unsupervised so the, the the target values are not known so and a lot of people know that unsupervised is more uh, difficult to and to to to, to to integrate and to, to develop in, in comparison with supervised learning uh, one. So supervised machine, we have uh, super, uh, yeah, we have the learning or we have a regression also. So this is just to uh, show you how uh, the different step or the different uh, algorithms that we can use in order to, 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 make, uh, to, to make supervised and to make unsupervised clustering, for example. Uh, this is the different machine learning algorithms I think that anyway, we can share this with you after. So we speak about more uh, as mainly it's, it's software software uh, um, solutions, bagging decision tree, boosting, or 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 uh, ADA boost uh, SVM, or so all of all reinforcement learning is depend on the application that you target, and depending on the application that we want to develop with the application that we want to target. So we choose our uh, 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 our uh, our architecture or our uh, machine learning algorithm. So mainly a lot of people that are oriented toward deep learning when we, what we, we, we call it also neural uh, neural networks. And I will come back uh, to, this, uh, to, to this. For the AI and software tools, this is mainly the software tools that we will use uh, mainly in the learning part. So, TensorFlow and and PyTorch, once of that, uh, you can come you can find that it's coming back or it's it's, it's usually coming back in the in in the in the uh, in the market and uh, in in the, in the academia also. So now I want you to I want to share with you this programming language evolution. Here we speak about as you know AI and the 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 the, the main. Um, uh, the main programming languages evolution. So, and mainly using this uh, AI technology, you can see here how the evolution of the programming languages between uh, 70, uh, the 1970 to 2019. And you can see uh, here, for example, we are in 1993, you can see that the C, C++ is taking more and more important. Here we speak about 71%. Of the, this is what means this more than seventy percent of uh, uh, of the projects in nineteen ninety three was based on C, okay. Twenty percent was based on C plus plus, okay. This is can be explained by the the, the, the here in the nineties early nineties we were we were focused a lot on the operating system, 
okay? How to deal with Windows, uh, Linux, Mac OS, and all of them, they are kernel based on C or C++. So th this is how we, we can uh, explain this part. And you can see that, yeah, uh, is the, the year is coming or, or going up. And you can see in here, for example, uh, if we move a bit, we speak about PHP, we speak about JavaScript and Java in, in early uh, 2000. In early 2000, this is the, the different, uh, let's say, programming language that was very important, very, very, very used. Here, I speak about more than 30% of projects use Java, more than 20% of projects use JavaScript, and 20% uh, of, of projects use P PHP. Why? We, why, why we can explain this by the idea that in the early 2000s, so we have the, uh, the thing that uh, or, or the project was uh, uh, building around internet, okay? How to, how to make set uh, website, how to make pages, you know? And this is, was uh, the thing that people, that was very interesting in Java and JavaScript or PHP. And a lot of projects in that time, in early to, to 2000, so a lot of projects that based on internet, if you want. Okay, the technology of internet was very, very exciting and there was a lot of money behind, of course. So this is why people uh, was very interested in, in, uh, in Java or JavaScript or this uh, uh, web, uh, let's say, uh, uh, web development uh, languages. And you can see now, starting from 2007, 2009, you can see how Python and start to become more and more important. Okay, you can see we are in 2019, for example, and here all of the projects or more than 20% of uh, 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 projects is based on Python. That means that more than 20% of the companies are using or are working on uh, AI or artificial intelligence. And this is explained in our, uh, uh, my first slides about the, the different uh, companies that are very interested in, in, in AI and artificial intelligence. Okay, so this is in 2019 and it's, it's becoming more and more important in, 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 uh, in, uh, in, in this. So now, the software parts or the software architecture that we used is, 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 is based on Python. Here, I just want to share with you the difference. I think a lot of people know the difference, uh, 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 the different uh, libraries that are used in Python and why Python is, uh, is important. And uh, mainly because it is easy to, to, to use and a lot of, uh, of um, um, uh, of libraries that are already exist in order to make artificial intelligence using uh, Python. Let's go for the hardware parts, what we call it hardware infra uh, infrastructure for this AI-based systems. Uh, mainly hardware for, 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 for AI is based on GPUs instead of CPUs, GPUs for graphical processing unit, okay? Uh, uh, originally designed to process graphics. So this is this this uh, uh, architecture or these processors is mainly designed for uh, process uh, graphics, but it's very, very uh, popular in order to make deep learning uh, and, and, and uh, yeah, create or, or, or generate features, thousands of small, simple cores and uh, specialized uh, and uh, parallel computations. Uh, this is just, I want to say that the same thing for Python is the same thing for, for in, in, the, in, in the software parts, in the hardware parts, so the GPUs is becoming more and more important because mainly all the projects are passing by, uh, uh, passing by AI or using AI. That means the GPUs is, uh, is, is the, the main, uh, let's say, project or the main uh, architecture uh, that can execute very uh, uh, efficiently. The, uh, the artificial intelligence algorithm, the artificial intelligence ap uh, application. Why it's, it's, it's here, I'm gonna give you just example or, or comparison between GPUs and CPUs. This is how it looks like uh, our, our CPU. When we speak about CPU, we speak about Intel, about AMD, we speak about uh, uh, ARM, ARM processors, Spark processors. Uh, all of them, they are have, or they have kind of architecture based on control. We have, yeah, not a lot of ALU, uh, what we uh, call it arithmetic and logical unit, okay? We have a memory cache and we have DRAM 
And this is how it looks GPUs. You can see that the controller is very small. Okay, the memory cache is very small and all the rest of the chip is ALU. That means we can execute or make uh, arithmetic functions, mathematical functions, uh, like uh, um, several time, or not, not several time, but uh, multiply by 10, 20 or more in comparison with the CPUs. So when we want to make a parallelism, when we make a parallel uh, 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 algorithm executions, okay? So we have uh, ILU uh, uh, more, I mean, several ILUs in comparison with, with the, the CPU. And this is which, this is why that make the GPUs a very good candidate in for, uh, for, uh, for artificial intelligence application than the CPUs. Okay, comparison between CPU and GPUs, while GPUs are specialized processors, CPUs are still the main computation engines on most computers. CPUs have uh, uh, several scores compared to GPUs, uh, dozens uh, GPUs that have thousands of, of, of less power, uh, powerful cores. Here we speak about ALUs. CPUs have uh, fewer arithmetic logic units. This is what I said in comparison with the GPUs. And CPUs are uh, lower latency and have larger cache memory compared to uh, GPUs. This is an example of GPUs. Uh, mainly it's coming from, um, uh, coming uh, from NVIDIA. This is the main uh, company that's uh, fabricated or, or, or designs GPUs. This is from uh, 2015 to 2020 uh, and different, uh, um, different uh, 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 GPUs designed from Tesla, uh, from, uh, from GPUs and integrated in, in, Tesla, in Tesla models. In, in, in Tesla, uh, Tesla company has uh, 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 work with GPUs in order to integrate, the, uh, work with NVIDIA in order to integrate their GPUs in, uh, in Tesla cars, okay? And this is the different types of, the, of, 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 of GPUs release dates. We speak about the, the, the K, P, and V, and T. So all the information, you can find them on their uh, website. This, I want just to show you that from here to, from 2015 to 2020, so the capacity of, the integration and the capacity of the execution using GPUs become more and, and more and more uh, important. Okay, uh, we have yeah an example of uh, of uh, of uh, of NVIDIA uh, GPUs. Always we should speak about DGX A A hundred. We speak about uh, X A hundred and AMD CPUs and the comparisons uh, between uh, between uh, between them. AMD star stay as a uh, um, uh, general purpose uh, processor than uh, the, the 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 GPU uh, from from uh, from Nvidia. Uh, here, the, I just to come back to the different examples that we will where we can find AI and we can find cyber physical systems. Speak about voice uh, recognition, autonomous driving. I will come back to this as examples. Market tr tr trading, healthcare, and a lot of applications, and uh, all these applications. We are trying to uh, push or, 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 or uh, using IoT uh, in order to bring the artificial intelligence inside the chip, okay? And uh, why inside the chip? What we call it, you can find it in the literature, what we speak, uh, call it uh, AI on the edge, okay? So there is the cloud, the AI on the cloud, and the AI, uh, the AI on the, the, the edge, and the AI on the the age they are based uh, or is pushed or IoT pushed in order to move, to make or to put more and more artificial intelligence on the same chip, okay? So in the same component, okay? We don't want to go out and and uh, and and, and uh, uh, make the computation somewhere and come back in order to make the decision. So we make the computation of the chip and the decision will be in the chip in order to yeah. There is a lot of security matters behind. There is a lot of uh, um, uh, performance behind. So this is why the, the, the idea that pushing or, or, or putting all the artificial intelligence parts on the same chip became more and more important because, but it's very and very hard and a real challenges that we, we in, in EC, in the laboratory, we try to do uh, things around this. I will try. Uh, to share some data with you. So uh, this AI or AI age or the AI on the age computing. So as I said, we want to bring 
artificial intelligence on the chip. And this is a lot of people they're trying to do uh, using CPUs, using GPUs, using FPGA, using ASICs and SOC accelerator, okay? In order, of course, to calculate, to compute this AI on the edge, okay? And of course, it's, um, it's money matters, okay? And uh, this is how we try to, to, to make a chipset the, or the evolution of the chipset market by uh, 2016 to 2025 and how we how we we we, we have this um, evolution of of the ai on the age using different uh, 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 different uh, different technologies okay so you can gpus you can see that uh, G gpus start or yeah try to i mean it's one of the the the, the main um, solutions uh, as FPGA or 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 or, or ASIC also. Okay, ASIC. When you speak about ASIC, you speak about accelerator. Okay. So uh, CPS. This is how it looks like in 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 a global view. We have several or we have three layers. Okay. We speak about physical layer. We speak about application layer and network layer. So in the physical layer is. Yeah, in, in, in contact or in 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 uh, uh, um, uh, that in 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 connection with the with the environment in order of course to bring data or sense data and of course and to actuate uh, as actuators to to, to 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 take a decision. Okay, we bring data. We send this data for the application layer. In the application layer, we find mainly the software, which is yeah the AI. If you want software, mainly is um, uh, Python uh, uh, algorithms. Uh, operating system, we have the general purpose hardware. This general purpose hardware is, is in order to make sure that the operating system will work correctly, okay, in order to run the operating system. And then we will find this specific purpose, uh, 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 purpose hardware. This specific purpose hardware is something dedicated for just AI, for the computing, okay? And then we have this part about the network, uh, uh, network hardware in order to, because all this with the CPS system by itself, we can see it as IoT, as Internet of Things. That means we can communicate, we exchange data, we send data and, and, and receive uh, data also. Okay, th this is for the hardware or specific, this, this what we call it specific purpose hardware. We find a lot of companies, they are trying to do this. I will just to share some examples with you. Speak about specialized hardware. This specialized hardware, they are doing just AI, just deep learning mainly, or machine learning, okay? This is specific chips developed by big companies. We speak about Google, which developed their TPU, what we, uh, we will come back to the TensorFlow processing unit. Apple, uh, it's already, Apple, it's already integrated in the iPhone uh, 11 and iPhone, uh, iPhone, iPhone 12. We speak about Apple Neural Engine, specific AI that or specific uh, specialized hardware that will do just AI. We speak uh, about Nerv uh, Nirvana and Movideos coming from Intel also. And this is very uh, small chips that are integrated in, your, in, in several CPS systems, uh, 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 CPS system in order, of course, to, to make or make sure that the AI part is uh, become more and more uh, important. Uh, yeah, this is TPU, okay? TensorFlow processing unit from uh, Google. I, I think that I'm running on the time, I can check. Okay, uh, th this is TPU, you can come back to it, it's from Google. Uh, we have Apple Neural Engine, it's uh, integrate seven core GPUs, we can uh, integrate in the same time, eight core CPUs, and this is the Neural Engine, they are, doing just deep learning uh, uh, calculation or deep learning processing, okay? Uh, Siri, for example, is, uh, uh, um, is integrated or is executed on this uh, neural engine. Uh, this is for AI chips, different uh, uh, processors or different companies, they are trying to do solutions, software and hardware uh, solutions uh, for AI chip uh, and, and, uh, and, uh, and, um, uh, AI chips uh, dedicated just for uh, artificial intelligence. So for the data, how it works, it's mainly for when we speak about AI on the edge, we speak about sensors and we speak about processors or uh, IR processors. 
we get the data, we send them. If they are uh, digital, we send them directly to be executed or to be computed. If they are uh, analog, so we pass by, uh, by um, analog to digital converter and we do the same thing the other side in order to send the continuous uh, and discrete uh, parameters. So when you speak about continuous, it's, yeah, it's signal, okay? And all the processing that we, it's digital processing. Okay, that means we do uh, uh, our AI processor or AI specialized processor, we execute just zeros and ones. Okay, example of some sensors, mainly the sensors that are more and more uh, used, speak about camera, we speak about LIDAR. I will come back to this LIDAR, I have an example that we, uh, uh, we share with you. We speak touch, we speak uh, uh, ultrasonic and sound, all of this. Um, uh, um, sensors can be analog or digital. Mainly we speak about camera, which is analog, which is digital one, leader or sort of digital one. And in order to design this CPS system, we have two, mainly two uh, options. So the first one is about simulation-based design. When we speak about simulation-based design, we would use frameworks mainly. Okay, speak about this framework that we can use in order to simulate and make our uh, uh, model. The, the problem with this simulation technique, the, it's, it's, uh, we, we, we get lower performance and we have slow validation, okay? And mainly the slow validation, uh, validation at the desired cycle accurate level. That, man, that means well, the level, the very, very down level in order to be very sure but, about what we are doing and about mainly the result that we will get. The second, Type, we speak about the platform-based design or, or hardware platform-based design that where we can use a very, I mean, hardware platforms, mainly this is what we are doing in ECE, okay? If for, for your labs, uh, mainly we pass by several uh, boards that we want to make sure uh, that uh, our algorithms works correctly. Uh, for example, uh, Raspberry Pi, we speak about uh, FPGAs, we speak about uh, 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 GPUs, uh, boards, and this techniques is very good in terms of validation because we are very fast because we are in hardware, okay? We are using uh, hardware parts, uh, mainly at cycle accurate level. And also this uh, techniques give us the possibility in order to test our algorithm in a real environment with, with real processors, with real memories, with real networks. Okay, and this is make sure make 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 difference between what we do at uh, simulation level. Okay, example of uh, a lot of all of you know the Raspberry Pi, and just just to show you this one of the board uh, that we we use it in order to uh, make uh, make sure or make a, a platform based design or, or validate our algorithm so for for the PPU. And the PF in in is here all of or, or mainly or a lot of of, of uh, groups by pass by uh, this board in order to make a, uh, make a prototype or make a proof of, of concept of their their uh, their their systems. Okay. Uh, so now I want to speak about the autonomous vehicle as a CPS because the autonomous vehicle or smart cars are CPS are safer physical system. The car collect data from the environment and take decisions or take action, okay? So this is an, a real example of uh, 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 um, uh, CPS. You know that a lot of people, a lot of companies, they are very interested in this smart, uh, smart and autonomous vehicles. We have Google cars, we have uh, Uber cars, autonomous, we will find a lot of buses. Uh, this is from Vidicom here in France. In Paris, the Vidicom also trying to do their own so autonomous cars and the idea that uh, of course make a car uh, driving alone okay uh, using cameras using uh, leaders cameras a uh, lot of sensors in order to uh, of course knows what happened around the the cars and take uh, actions so for autonomous car we have five levels okay here in this video i want to share with you the different levels that we have okay uh, uh, you can see that this levels from uh, one to five, one is the lower, the five is the higher, okay? The higher one. Uh, oops. So this autonomous car, this uh, autonomous uh, 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 car, so 
we have several levels. We speak about level ones. In level ones, we have automatic braking, uh, warning against collision, pedestrian, pedestrian automatic detection, and we have security distance between vehicles. This is for level one. I know that a lot of you, a lot of, 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 of uh, 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 students, they have always cars that integrate this kind of, of, of technologies when we speak about uh, automatic braking, when we speak about security distance. So a lot of, uh, this is what we call it level, uh, uh, level one. And we go further from level one to level two, okay? And for level two, uh, what we have that we, we, we add something more interesting in our cars. And here, yeah. So in level two, in level two, so the car or the driver is helped by a, a system. This system, what we call it a DAS, or we would call it ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance System. That, that means a system that uh, help or uh, um, uh, yeah, help the driver in order to take decisions, okay? Uh, uh, we, we find a lot of ADAS integrated in this level, in the car. Uh, we speak about remove hands from the steering wheel, that the driver can remove his hand from the steering. And of course, this, this removing is it's for, uh, uh, for a short period. This is for level two. And that means in level two, we integrate more and more ADAS in our, uh, uh, our car. You can see in the video here that, for example, he, he, he is moving his, uh, 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 his, uh, his hand from the car. And in level, level three, here we speak about 2021. It's, we are already in. We are, uh... sorry guys. Uh, we are in level three, yeah, in level three. And in this level, driver can completely turn attention away. That means can the, 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 the driver can do something else and let the car uh, living or uh, uh, driving alone. In level, uh, four, in level four, here we speak about it. We have already some example of this, about the 2022 or 23. The driver may be able to sleep, during the, the during the uh, uh, during the time or the the, the 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 driving time, but must be ready to take over control for a specific section of the road. Like so the car or the driver can leave the car uh, drive alone, but he can in the same time for specific uh, uh, specific sanctions. Okay, for example, in the highway when there is highway is straight. So the cars can take take over the the, the 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 driving of the car and the the the, um, the 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 driver can sleep. Okay, I give you in here an example. You can see for in the highway, so there is no problem. Okay, so it's not very hard for the car in order to uh, to, to to drive. And in level five, and we have several uh, examples and several let's say. Uh, uh, cars right now, it's at this level, we are between four and, and, and five right now. And here we speak uh, about that's the idea that we were, we were here. The idea here that car will drive uh, autonomously, the driver become just another passenger. So that means the car will be 100% autonomous and the car will take complete responsibility of the driving task, that there is no problem. That means the car can drive in uh, uh, difficult uh, sections and also in uh, easy sections. There's no problem for that. So this is for the level uh, five uh, for driving um, or for autonomous, uh, autonomous uh, vehicle. For example, here for the parking, also the same thing. You can see the complete autom autonomous uh, self par uh, parking from uh, Audi. I just want to share this uh, with uh, uh, with uh, with with, uh, with you can see here, for example, the, the driver just asked his car to camp using, of course, IUT, and the car can uh, can uh, can camp and uh, take the, the 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 driver as as passenger. So we we developed in our laboratory ADA system, which is a smart camera, in order to detect uh, if. Uh, uh, the, the the driver is 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 uh, is sleeping or no is tired or no, okay. This is one example of the the, the ideas that's already 
we can find it in several um, several uh, uh, several applications. Uh, this application or this smart dust is ordered to uh, detect the drowness of the, the 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 driver. That means when the driver is is, is tired. And here we based on the uh, the ice detection and eyes closing if the driver will, will, will close his eyes and how many times uh, during a, a specific a sp specific section of, of, of the time. So we do, of course, uh, an amplitude a set of, uh, we implemented a set of software functions. We used a boost, a supervised machine learning methods. And in, in this uh, example, we, uh, uh, in the image coming from the camera, uh, we detect the skin, we, we make the skin segmentation, we detect the face, we detect the eyes and make some classification, decision making, and then we uh, detect if the driver is uh, uh, tired or no. So here you can see, so we have face detection, and then we see if the eyes, open it, eyes uh, closed, and we uh, calculate the perclue. The perclue is the frame with closed eyes uh, divided by the frame with the, uh, with the opened eyes and uh, plus frames with closed eyes. And if this perclue is, is higher than 25%, that we decide we have the decision that the driver is uh, tired. So this is how it looks uh, like, for example. I want just to share with you an example. This work is done uh, by one of my uh, master's students. He was uh, doing his... Um, his internship in our uh, our uh, uh, laboratory. You can see in here. So uh, the implementation of this algorithm was in hardware and in software. And here we make the example. The when we speak about software was uh, implemented in C plus plus. When we speak about hardware is uh, was implemented in FPGA. So in in VHDL. Okay. And you can see so difference between software and hardware. The idea that the hardware is very very fast and they will come back to this uh, uh, la later. So something else about the, the, the cars and the autonomous cars. This is an example I want to share with you from uh, the MIT group. They are making the learning process uh, using software examples in here. For example, you can come back. This is the link. You can come back to it. So we they, mod they, they make a, a model of a car with several sensors sensor one, two, five, so five sensors. And we try, we have this path and this, we make sure that this model will learn uh, in order to make sure there is no accident, you know, during this uh, this this path. That's what uh, we call it a learning uh, process. You can see in here. If you want, I can share with you uh, this example. It's a very nice one uh, uh, that explain very well how, how the, the thing or the learning process is 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 done, but all this is uh, is done, of course, on on the cloud on on a big uh, a big uh, uh, machine using re reinforcement learning. Okay, here I want to share with you the how the architecture of these smart cars and smart vehicles. So you can speak about smart cars, and we need to speak about the IoT parts of these smart cars. What we call it uh, V V two X. So V two X for uh, that make sure that this vehicle communicate, so vehicle to vehicle communication and vehicle to infrastructure communication. And here the infrastructure is can be several things. We speak about smart cities, speak about smart road, uh, roads, smart parking, uh, people, uh, kids, uh, phones, and uh, and uh, and uh, and we are using several uh, this for V two X. We are using several uh, communication standard. Or, or, or communication protocols. We speak about Zigfox, uh, we speak about Zigbee, uh, LoRa, Wi-Fi, uh, and of course, the 5G. Okay, one of the things that 5G will change, uh, the technology of 5G will be uh, uh, very, very interesting for this uh, V2X uh, and vehicle to vehicle to vehicle communication or this autonomous uh, vehicle. Okay, so this is how it looks like the global view in terms of the v, uh, V2X. So here I want to share, I want to tell you about something related to uh, what we are doing with uh, my student and the PhD student, they are uh, Quentin. 
Kaban. He was in SE uh, 2017, I think. And he's doing his PhD with me. And we are working on a hardware parts on hardware uh, NNP, what we call it, neural network processor on FPGA in order to make just uh, the, this, uh, the, the AI on the edge uh, for, uh, for deep learning uh, computation. Okay, this is uh, how, I mean, the global architecture for an NMP can make uh, the, 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 the parts or the, the learning parts on the cloud and the inference parts we are doing the execution on the, uh, on the FPGA. Okay, this is how it looks like when we integrate our NNP in the design. So we have the CPUs, sensors. Here the sensors, uh, I'll come back to this, uh, physical words. And on the FPGA, we have the embedded processing and we have our neural uh, network processor in order to make mainly make the inference uh, part. So I will come back to this if you have any question. And we validate this NNP using an application in order to make the object detection and classification. So we have a car and we want to classify and detect all the objects around the car using, uh, using um, a LIDAR, okay? Uh, LIDARs, and then this is the, the input of the LIDAR. We speak about binary file, and here uh, we speak uh, about uh, uh, point clouds, okay? And this is how it looks like, okay? And based on this points cloud uh, as input, uh, sensor input, uh, we do the segmentation, okay? And then the idea that after segmentation, we try to uh, make sure that we are detecting all the, 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 here an example about the pedestrian, pedestrian, uh, the tree and, uh, around the car, okay, using, uh, of course, our NMP. And uh, um, we want to, of course, isolate object, find spatial position, configurable, uh, configurate, uh, configurate for any class. That means it uh, can be for pedestrian, can be for uh, uh, cats, can be for animals, can be for other cars, okay. And th this house look like this is before, this is after, and we can check how many um, pedestrian we have around our uh, our uh, car. So, uh, and uh, in order to make sure that we have a real a real time prototype, this is how it looks like our prototype is not finished. So that we have several students that are working on it. And now you can see, for example, in here, a prototype of the, the, of the car that we have, all it's on the FPGA, we have a camera and we have a LIDAR. And we have, that means we have double source of data. So data coming from the camera, data coming from the leader, and we fusion this data and we try to make the, um, uh, the AI parts on chip using our, uh, our uh, NMP. So uh, another thing that we want to do also, we are doing in, in, in this CPA system, that means we add this CPA system as a car, for example, with uh, uh, with a drone. And the drone by itself is uh, as a CPA system also in order to share with us some data coming from the, from, the, the, from the drone, for example, can give us some information, yeah, information that the car uh, can be or can't uh, be, uh, can, can, can't explain or can, can see it in the beginning. Okay, so that means that they, the, 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 the we use a drone as a service, if you want, okay? So the service that give us, uh, the, the drone is give us some information about what happened in one kilometers, in two kilometers. We share this data with the car, okay? And it will be as an input, uh, another input uh, with all the sensors uh, all of, of uh, integrated in, in, uh, in the car. So this is how it looks like. We, we make this uh, as a prototype or always we are, uh, trying to make a, uh, a, a proof of, of concept or, or a prototype in order to check uh, in, in real time uh, our, our work and our uh, computing uh, uh, system. Uh, I think that I finished one hour. Okay. I think that I finished. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Hope that you, I wasn't very, let's say, very very, very um, slow in the, in the in the, uh, in, the in, in my presentation and you can have 
Maxime, you can you, you can take over. Yeah. Thank you very much for your, your presentation. Uh, we, we, for the questions, uh, for the question, I can take them in French or in English. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have already close to ten questions. So okay. I can start with uh, maybe one of the simulations. Um, so the question is, I wonder if there is an existing virtual environment where we can plug in many objects, such as cars, cameras, people with smartphones, and then we can simulate an AI system before going to a real scenario. Is there any platform or what is? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. This is a very good question. Uh, the, the idea, a lot of people was working on it, and I know that there is one platform is coming uh, was uh, was op was open it sources or or it, it's it's open source right now uh, from uh, Microsoft, which we call it I think eSIM. Okay, it's a, it's an environment that give you the possibility in order to uh, modulate and integrate several components, as yeah, several cars, drones, a lot of things that can generate data or bring data. Okay, so uh, uh, yes, there is a platforms and the platform that I know that one of my students that used uh, uh, and in, during the, the internships was, uh, no, during the PFL uh, that I worked with them, uh, groups, uh, you, they use it, eSIM, and uh, this eSIM give you a possibility, of course, to integrate several uh, components in your environment and try to simulate. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, another question about uh, the operating system. Uh, should it be Linux or can we use a real-time operating system such as a free, free autos, for example? Or... Okay, very good question. Thank you. It's, it's, a, it's, a embedded, uh, it's an embedded question, If let, 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 let's say. Um, when I speak about Linux, uh, the Linux so it's 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 a Ertos also. So there is there is there is a package that can be integrated in Linux in order to uh, to make it uh, uh, real time. So there is the possibility, of course, to use uh, Linux. Uh, a lot of people uh, using also um, safe Ertos or uh, free Ertos, as you said. The safe Ertos is just. Uh, uh, is 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 a version of free ertos with a higher level of safety okay and of course you can use it and uh, some this is for 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 the for the the, the open source let's say uh, uh, operating system but it's it's open it's really open because we have ecos we have uh, uh, vxworks we have all of of this uh, operating system or embedded uh, operating system are artos and they can be used for, uh, for, for our, our systems, okay? Something else, there's a lot of people they are developing their own operating system um, for their application. So there is this possibility, if you speak about Thales, if you speak about NVIDIA, if you speak, so there is a lot of companies, they don't, uh, I mean, uh, uh, you, they, they, they take a version of the kernel of Linux, for example, I try to um, modify it, modify it, or 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 uh, plug in uh, other um, uh, other uh, other components that uh, that can be used for their own application. So the 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 response, the, the the answer, yes, you can use Linux, you can use free Ertos. It really depends uh, depends on on what you want as as application. Okay. Okay, this is, this is what happened. Okay, thank you. Um, maybe two, two or three more questions. Uh, one about power consumption. Uh, so what about the power consumption in CPS, uh, especially in autonomous cars? Um, because if you're asking uh, your processor to perform a lot of tasks, then it should uh, consume a lot of energy. Uh, I think the question is about yeah, this, this. This this good. Uh, it's it's good. Uh, a very good question also, and one of uh, the questions that's uh, coming back several time, and uh, and mainly for CPS system where the computation is is embedded. The computation is on chip, so that means we need uh, we need mainly batteries. 
like autonomous car or like uh, Boston Dynamics robots, or so we have a lot of batteries. Uh, this is there is mm, uh, there is uh, really a very big uh, uh, laboratories, research laboratories that are trying to find solution for this. Uh, in order to reduce the power consumptions, we have two things or mainly we do are doing uh, two things. So we are doing a lot of optimization on software side. And of course we are doing specified hardware in order that our hardware that we integrated in our system doesn't or will not uh, consume a lot of energy. And to do this, to do this, there is a lot of technologies. It's, I can't, uh, so there's technology at, 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 at cash level we are modifying memory cache. We are modifying the ALU. We are doing a lot of things around around uh, around this. Uh, something else, uh, also um, for the energy. That means we are working in the other side. That means we will try to make the battery uh, uh, more efficient mm -hmm. in terms of time. Okay. So in the side of our system or our chips, we make sure that our Software is very, very optimized in terms of power consumption. Our hardware is very optimized in, our, uh, in, in terms of uh, power consumption. And in the other side, we try to make sure also that the lifetime of the battery will be very long. Okay. And, and mainly all of them, they are, so there is a lot of technologies that are trying to do it, but mainly all of the companies that are going to, to, to something uh, that Tesla doing very well about a battery is about to make several uh, batteries in series. Okay, we make serial batteries, mm -hmm. a lot of them, we integrate them, and that's all. So this is what uh, we, 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 we try to do. Okay, interesting. Um, one question about uh, deep AI uh, concerning the autonomous driving cars. Uh, what if a car if is flipped in the middle of the road, an AI system did not see the scenario during training? So the question is, how can we avoid a collapse uh, from the other cars if it hasn't been uh, seen before? Ah, okay, so yeah, speaking about the questions that if, uh, if the scenario is already learned by the car or no. Uh, never... Yeah, okay. Is the, if if the car is have already seen the scenario or no? But so this is. I want to, to say that so this is why we have uh, several levels that I explained in the in the in the cars. Mm -hmm. So once the last levels and hundred percent autonomous level number five. Here we make make sure we we have the idea that the car like has um, uh, hundred percent of the scenarios, but. But so the process of the learning is in continuously working. Okay, so mainly, mainly if the scenario doesn't exist, so the car will stop. Okay. Yeah. This is this is yeah. This is the, that means there is somehow it's a bag. Okay, and for safety purpose. Okay, the main thing uh, here we have the level of the car hundred percent autonomous, but the level of the safety is already higher. Mm -hmm. That means the level of the safety or the safety will take over on the, on the autonomous car. That means if the car can't have an idea about the situation, that's where the car is, so he will stop. Okay. Because we have, a, a, we have safety issues. Yeah. Okay. So mainly this is, this is the simple way to do, but this is the, 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 uh, the efficient way also to do. Okay. In order to don't, yeah, because there is lives behind and we don't, we don't not want to, to um, uh, make accidents or, or, or make this kind of things. Okay. Um, maybe last but not least, I've, I've, <laughs> I've seen on, on the, your first slides that you are mentioning a YouTube channel that is uh, NoCab. <laughs> Could you give uh, a few words about that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not. No cap, it's, it's, it's my, uh, my YouTube channel, so I'm working on it. Uh, I'm doing a lot of things, so, and mainly during this uh, confinement time that we stay at home for a long, long time. So we are doing a lot of things around, uh, around conferences, uh, uh, inviting people, inviting uh, big professors in order to share 
their uh, their uh, their knowledge, share their uh, uh, what they did, what they uh, they knows uh, uh, about technology, uh, and uh, and uh, we are do 